What's up, YouTube? My name is Jason, and this is my take. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving weekend, and I'm back. And today we're going to be talking about the new Swank and King Draft album, Long Story Short. Now, Swank and King Draft are a duo out of North Carolina that are signed to one of my favorite producers, Ninth Wonders, Jamla Records, which is also who Grammy-nominated rapper and lyricist Rhapsody is signed to as well. Now, Jamla is one of my favorite labels in hip-hop, so I'm always curious and, and checking out what they're releasing. Now, both Swing and King Draft have multiple projects out uh, as individuals and as a duo, but this is actually my first time checking them out. So I was excited to see what they would be bringing to the table. Now, when it comes to Jamla, they have a specific sound when it comes to any of their artists that very soulful boom bap that just always has your head nodding. So I did have an idea of what to expect. So after giving this album a few listens, I was satisfied. Now, while I wasn't completely blown away by this album, on these 12 tracks, both Swank and King Draft rap with a lot of confidence and a lot of swag and bravado. And while there wasn't really a theme or concept to this album, it was really just rapping and I'm always down for that. So let's discuss a few highlights. The song Stars is really the epitome of, of a Jamla Ninth Wonder type track. It's very soulful. And both Swank and King Draft sound very smooth. I love how they kind of contrast one another. Swank is the more energetic one, and King Draft is the more gruff, like smooth, like rapper with the deeper voice. The song Can't Lose that features Will Jordan just feels like that type of track that, you know, you're out on a night drive with just one hand on the steering wheel, like, like just very smooth and very cool. Honestly, on this song, Swank stood out to me as he was just like really rapping smooth and confidently about a girl that he's interested in. Probably my favorite song on the album is the song Feels Like that sees these two teaming up with another Jamla artist, Ian Kelly. There's so much swag and confidence on this track and there was a line towards the end of the song by Swank, I believe it was, that was really clever about Outkast. And he says, let me keep it three stacks in high school, I was an outcast, so I couldn't get feedback. Now I'm a big boy, Southern player making big noise. They like you got that stank on you, like playing on Andre 3000, big boy, Southern playlist of Cadillac music, Stankonia. Like that was that was really clever by Swank. It was one of my favorite sequence of bars on this album. I think both Swank and King Draft sound the most confident on the song Ego Trippin', which is fitting. This is just a... a braggadocious type track, so it makes a lot of sense. On the production side of things, I love the rides that are just in the background of the entire track. It is really subtle, but it really makes a difference. On the song She's Mine, I love how they chop the vocals on this very soulful sample. This track was also kind of funny to me. I don't know how funny or they were trying to be, but they're both kind of talking about girls that they've stolen and I thought it was just funny how they were addressing the guys, the other guys in the song who thought that, you know, they had these girls and, and no one could take them from them. The production on the song Price of Fame is just perfect. It's so colorful and so soulful. And on this song, they team up with GQ, who's a veteran Jamla artist as well. And he's actually one of my favorite artists in the collective. So it was great to hear him hop on and kill this track. That's all I expect from GQ. Now, while there are highlights, there are some, some cons and some boring and underwhelming moments on this album as well. The first actually being the title track, Long Story Short, which was a little surprising. I don't know if I can recall an album where the title track was one of my least favorites. And it was really more on the production side where I had an issue. I thought Swank and King Draft were fine, but the production was just very like minimal and, and very, I don't know, like it lacked a, a punch, especially the drums. Like it felt like it should have hit harder than it did. And towards the end of this album, it seemed like the momentum dropped, more specifically with the songs Love Me Not and Therapy Session. Loves Me Not felt really weird and not it just being a, a pretty boring track, but it wasn't that long of a track. It, I don't think it even went over three minutes, but it felt like such a drag. And the same issues I had with the title track were also the same ones I had with the song Therapy Session. Just drums that didn't really pack a punch and, and it felt like it should have hit harder. And while this album got off to a really solid start, I always, always hate when you know, it takes a little dive towards the end, and that's what happened here. But overall, I thought this was a pretty cool project by the Jamla duo. There were some underwhelming moments on this thing, 
And another thing to mention too is between the two, I do feel like Swank held more of his own and was more entertaining for me than King Draft was. But I still feel like the future is very bright for these two artists. North Carolina has so much talent in the rap game. And I love that Ninth Wonder is shedding a light on that through his independent label, Jamla Records. I do truly feel like in the future, this is a label that's gonna have a lot to say and it's gonna be a powerhouse in the industry. So I am curious to see what Swank and King Draft do do going forward. And I'm, I'm excited to see it. So I'm gonna give this album a six and a half out of 10. So what were you guys' thoughts on this new Swank and King Draft album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What were your favorite tracks? Let's have a discussion down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually only doing two videos this week. So tomorrow, I'm going to do a wrap up for the month of November on some albums I didn't get to do a full review on. So I hope you guys join me. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason. This has been my take. I'll see you next time.